All right, so today I am headed to the 2017 NAMM show. And since I'm vlogging everything these days anyway, I figured I might as well vlog this and show you guys what it's like. So I'm driving over there right now. The traffic is insane, but I should be there within about 30 minutes or so. Today's Thursday, it's the first day of the show. And I figured it'd be a good day to do this vlog because it's a little bit mellower than the other days. Friday is pretty crazy. Saturday is insane because all the big artists of, that are endorsed by all the companies they come out for like meet and greets and signings and there's a lot of parties going on It's just crazy madness and Sunday is dead I mean, People get so tired after all the three days and all the partying and everything a lot of people just don't go on Sunday The get people working at the booths are just like low energy. It's just not a good day But I figured today would be a good day because it's a good energy people are positive They're not like Sunday, but it's also not crazy like Friday and Saturday So it's gonna be a little bit easier to get around. I'll check in with you guys when we get there and Show you guys the NAMM show 2017. All right, so here we are, NAM 2017. Now the first thing I gotta do is print out my badge because you can't get in there without a badge. And it's not a public event, it's an industry only trade show. So you have to get a badge. And the only way to get one is you gotta either know someone who can get you one or be affiliated with a company that will get you one. I got mine from DR Strings. I've been playing their strings forever. I absolutely love them. I love their products. I love the company, they're great people. And they got me my badge this year, so I gotta go print it out. Hopefully the lines aren't too long. The thing with Thursday is that 100% of the people that come here on Thursday are gonna be in this line to print out a badge because that's the only way to get in. When you come Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the people who came the day before already printed out their badge, so they just go straight in, so the lines might not be as bad. It is a little late right now, it's like 1 p.m. and I came a little late on purpose, hoping that the line won't be long because I don't want my first hour in NAMM to be just waiting in line for an hour. So hopefully it's not too bad. Let's go in there, take a look. It's actually moving pretty quick, so it's not too bad. They made this a lot faster and more high tech than it used to be, so I have my barcode here on my phone. So I just have to go over there to the counter and just scan this and then I get my badge. I'll just scan this right here. Should I yeah, zoom in a little? The brightness. brightness? Hold on, hold on. I don't have it bright enough. There we go. Alright, bright and zoomed in. There we go. Yeah, you did. It says that is printing. Thank you so much. Perfect, thank you. Got the badge. Let's do this. Alright, got my badge. Got it on. Let's go. Check out NAM 2017. Right, so this seems to be the pro audio section. It happens to be where I came in through today. Speakers there. Speakers everywhere. Oh, look at that. What the hell was that? Alright, so this thing, if you don't already know, it's massive. It's absolutely huge. And uh, I came in from there. That's like the first wall, I think, and then it just keeps going down for a long, long time. So let's go through here. I think down here it's like pro audio, it's like microphones and all the recording stuff. And then after that, we get into the guitar and bass stuff, and then there's some drum stuff all the way in the end. And then certain companies, like the bigger companies, like Fender, Gibson, Taylor Guitars, they're all on a whole different level that I'll show you guys later. They're not in the main hall here, but we are going to check those out. I'm here to help. Uh, okay. So audio right there, he's doing like a product demo or something. There's a lot of that. You see these booths just doing demos. And I think there's like a noise policy. They can't be too loud or they get in trouble. But yeah, it's a very, very noisy trade show. That's the one thing that kind of sucks as far as bass playing. And you'll see when I get to the bass section, it's really hard 
to be able to actually hear the instruments and the amps because it's just so loud here that the bass frequencies don't really cut through, especially when you're trying to hear the tone and the subtleties of tone. All right, so here's some pro audio stuff for sure right here. This is all like the recording stuff. And then I think once I walk through that right there, into the next hallway is when all the instrument and guitar stuff starts coming up. <laughs> so you can see a lot of people. And this is on Thursday. On Friday and Saturday, it's just insanity. It's so hard for you to get around it, to be able to see everything in one day because everything's moving so slow. There's so much like traffic, you know? Even today, I'm getting a little bit of that. Oh, there's Aguilar right there. Let's go check that out. It's Aguilar, like I said, it's so loud that it's so hard to hear what the stuff actually sounds like. This guy's playing bass right now, he's trying out an amp, and I can't hear anything. I don't think he can hear it. He's getting really close to try to hear it, but it's so hard. No idea who that is, but let's find out. How are you doing? Is it even work here, or are you just trying to try out the bass? I guess she's someone who's demoing for Aguilar. So let's move on, we'll come back. That girl was really low energy. I was trying to be cool and talk to her and I'm like, so do you work here or are you just trying out the uh, the amp and the pedal? She's like, oh no, I, I do demos for Aguilar. I'd be a little more upbeat if you're gonna do demos for a company. Some more basses right here. I don't know what these are yet. That's the cool thing about amps. You see stuff that you would never see otherwise. A lot of these instruments I had never seen before. Brigantino amp. These basses right here. Just keep moving, it's looking kind of uneventful right here. F bass right there. Pretty cool bass. Let's get an up close look. I try one of these out right now, but there's way too many people, and I'm not gonna sit around here and wait for an opportunity. So let's just keep moving. Uh, so what are these? Bases? I never heard of them. It's, uh, originally, it's a German brand. Okay. Uh, it's built in uh, factory Czech Republic. like I'm trying to kind of give an over overall view so I'm not really stopping at booths and trying stuff out I am coming back on Saturday to do that Saturday I'm gonna come back and spend all day here and play all this stuff and party and do all that stuff but today I kind of just want to walk around and show you guys a little bit of everything that's why I'm kind of like moving fast right now and just kind of walking through everything because I want to show you a little bit of everything so you can get an idea of what it's like and my goal is for you to feel like you are actually here walking through these halls checking this stuff out so hopefully I can accomplish that so here's Warwick right here Little booth right there, and then Martin over there. This is like all the guitar and bass stuff. So Marshall is right over here across from Bernie Ball. Here, I'll show you guys. This is Marshall right there, and then right here, if you turn around, is Ernie Ball. And there's a huge line at Ernie Ball. I'm assuming it's one of their artists doing like a meet and greet or a signing or something. This happens a lot, so they're in line waiting to meet someone or get an autograph or whatever. Let's see. Let's see who it is. I can't really see, I don't know who it is, but there's someone over here signing stuff. Oh, there we go. Yeah, John Petrucci, that's who it is. All right. Let's 
see him now. Yeah, so that huge line is people just wanted to meet, jump and choose and get an autograph. That's what's going on there. So yeah. We are not going to do that because I got to keep moving. Rickenbacker right here for all you Rickenbacker fans. It's a pretty badass booth. I like it, man. Rickenbacker, man. I've never actually played these instruments, but I know a lot of people like them. So I really have no idea how I'm going to actually edit all of this together. I'm just getting a bunch of random footage and just walking around. Hopefully I can put something decent together that will be fun to watch. We'll see. Oh, there's those little, those little, uh, you base little things. Elementary They look pretty cool. They look pretty cool if you're playing by yourself in the bedroom. I don't know if you can actually rock that thing on stage. That would look kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. What if? Little footage right there. See, she's helping me. She knows what she, he's doing. she knows that I'm boring as shit on camera, so she's trying to make it a little more interesting. No, no, I appreciate you're good, that. You're good. Am I? Very I've, I've been like laughing. It. Working Everybody on that kid. She, she looks like she's having a good time. Or she's looking to have a good time. Here's Marcus Miller right here. Let me see if I can go say hi. It looks like he's about to leave. People taking photos, but it looks like he's in a hurry. He just wants to get out of here. Thank you for your time. Marcus, I just want to shake your hand. Well, I won't take your time with the photo. I'm going to see you. There we go. So that's Marcus right there. Here's DR Strings. Alright, so I'm outside that main hallway area. The main hallway area is like right there. So right now, if you take this escalator, there's two more levels. And then that's where like the bigger booths, like Fender and Schecter, they have their own rooms up there. So I'm going to show you a little bit of that. This is outside the convention center. As you can see, there's, they set up a stage right there with live music playing. Yo, what's going on, dude? What are you, what are you showing? No, I, I cut my hair. People that don't recognize me. Oh no, I recognize you. I've seen this haircut. Sorry, I know you're on the. Sorry, yeah, no, I'll turn that off. Nice running into you. Yeah, absolutely, man. Cool. Sounds good, man. That's my friend Dave Immerman. He plays guitar with Avril Lavigne, I believe. Really cool guy. I hadn't seen him in a while. That's one of the cool things about NAMM is you get to see people that you haven't seen in a long time. A lot of friends and stuff. Because usually when we're all touring, we don't really get to hang or see each other as much because we're always traveling and going places. So we're never really in town. So this is the outside part of the NAMM. I'm outside of the convention center right now. As you can see, there's like a stage right there. They set up stages all around it. So there's live music going all the time, which is really cool. And as you can see, there's a bunch of hotels that surround it. There's the Hilton here, there's the Marriott. And what happens is at six o'clock, the convention center right here closes, the show is done, and then everyone flocks to the hotel. So the hotel lobbies have stages and have music, and people are just like drinking and partying and watching live music. It's, it's a blast, man. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show that here because 
I'm not gonna be staying that late today. I am gonna be coming back Saturday and partying and doing the whole thing. I'm gonna be here all day. I'm actually gonna go to the Schechter party Saturday night, which is a badass party that I love and I go to every year. But I want to have this edited and posted before Saturday, so I'm probably not gonna be able to show all that stuff. So here's the convention center. Here's the outside view. I'm gonna go back in right here, and then we're gonna check out the uh, upper levels, like Fender and Gibson and Schechter and all that stuff. All right, so see, there's the escalator right there. There's three more levels. And all that stuff is up here. So this is the second level here. As you can see, it looks a lot different. They're bigger boots, so they tend to be like bigger companies. Like I said, like Fender, Gibson, all that stuff. Here, I'll show you a little look around. What do you mind being on camera? Um, well, you're pretty popular. That might. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put me, not you. Nice is, it, is it rolling right now? Still? It's rolling right now, yeah. Oh, okay, so... Nice to meet you. So he, he basically watches my channel and he recognized me as I was walking by. What's your name? Tony. Tony, nice to meet you. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I, I'm really impressed, you know. And, uh, I, and I, if you knew me, for me to say that, you know, it means a lot. So, I appreciate it. All that stuff that you do. And, you know, I have some stuff of my own, but, you know, I just... Uh, you took it a step further. I don't want to take up your time. I know that you're busy. I just saw you, so I just... Well, that was great meeting you, Tony. Yeah. Thanks so much. I appreciate you uh, stopping me. Yeah, yeah. I hope you got it when you said, oh, man. I, I didn't get the initial reaction, which would have been cool, but that's all right. Yeah, so, but uh, maybe I'll see you around the corner. Are you here for, for the whole yeah, intro? Yeah, yeah. I know. Okay, so I'm going to subscribe to all your stuff online. Oh. I just wanted to make sure it was legit. Oh, it's definitely legit. Yeah. So if everyone get... listening, it's legit. It's okay. Legit. Thank you very much. All right, Tony. See you. Nice yeah. All right, so that was pretty cool. I didn't get the initial reaction because the camera wasn't rolling, but I walked by and he's like, he just stops me. He's like, wait, are you the bass wizard from YouTube? I was like, yeah, man. So we just chatted for like 20 minutes or so about bass and music. That's why I love doing this, because you get to meet some cool people that you wouldn't have met otherwise. Such a nice guy, such a cool guy. I've met amazing people just from doing the YouTube stuff that I wouldn't have met otherwise. So I have a blast doing this, man. It's great. I love meeting all you guys. I love reading the comments. I love connecting with everyone. All the emails that I get, I really appreciate it for everything. So let's go up one more level now, and I think this is where Fender and all the stuff that I'm looking for is. Also, here's Boss. Here's Roland right here. Now this is where Anna Santina usually hides. I know a lot of you guys are big fans of her. She's a good friend of mine. I haven't seen her in a long time. But let's go in here real quick and see if we can find her. I didn't see her, but maybe she's in the boss booth next door over here. Let's see if we can find her. All right, Anna. Went to the rolling booth. Went to the boss booth. Couldn't find you. What the? I stopped by the road and I was like, oh, why is it going to the road? Just to show you guys. Oh, there might be some trouble watching the story. Just that's Pearl right there. Let's see what else we can find here. Let's keep moving. Oh, I'm trying to find Fender. I want to get the Fender. Tony Frank. What's going on, man? How are you doing? Doing Brandon, good. What's Tony Frank and Nam. You're, you're the man the, right here, the fretless monster. You're on the go with the GoPro. I man. am absolutely vlogging <laughs> everything, man. These days, this is what you gotta do. You nice. live streaming, you or you gotta? No, I, I'm not. I can't. I don't have that much technology. This is pretty basic, right here. Well, hi everybody. This is Tony Frank. Nam, first day and my last day. They fly out to uh, to Calgary tomorrow for a show with 
Penny Lane Chevy. So oh, that's I'm, badass. Here, here's a fun fact too that people don't know is okay. that SWR rig that you see me playing. If you type bass amp on YouTube, I'm the person that comes up. There's an SWR rig that I only have because of this man. Tony Frank hooked it up. It's a monster rig. It too. really is. It's a badass. It's a I just mega live. It just ago. sounds big, doesn't it? The live is awesome. Yeah. So thank you so much, Tony. All right, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. What did I call it? Did I say mega live? Did yeah, I call it? Mega, it, it did it, I it, say it, mega lift? The mega live. Hey, it's mega, it's mega. It's big, light, but it's, it's a mega loud. loud. Yeah, it's, it's very good. Loud. Well, thanks, man. Yeah, thanks. Tony Franklin, right there, just ran into him. Great guy, man. Great bass player. Known him for a long time. He's just a really, really nice guy. You know, He's a great bass player too. Definitely check him out. And this is why I got to keep the camera rolling the whole time because you never know what's gonna happen. You make one turn and you run into someone. I ran into that guy who watches my YouTube channel. You should have seen the reaction he had when I saw him, but the camera wasn't on. I try to turn the camera off every once in a while, otherwise the battery drains, but I end up missing these moments if I turn it off. So here is the uh, Schecter booth right here. ESP, ESP I think is right. Yeah, ESP is right there. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Happy New, Happy, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Good to see you! Yeah. Yeah, you as well. I'm walking into your Instagram stories. Very entertaining. Oh, I bet. The late, the late night ones? Oh, yeah, they're just getting better and better. Right? Every time I see a pop-up on my thing, I'm like... fun when you drink. <laughs> yeah, you really are. Every time I see a pop-up, I'm like, I have to quickly watch it. I think like this one, I was like, oh, I have to post this regularly. It was the one where, like, oh, wow. everything in LA is fake, guys. Oh, that was my favorite one. Oh, I like that one. Hi! Yeah, that's right. I forget about that sometimes. Yeah. It doesn't have the flip out screen. I like this because it's discreet, but okay. I can't see what I'm doing. And where are you posting this? Is this Cody or Facebook or Instagram? Or YouTube? You search the base wizard on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to see what Wednesday's like on the road or tour? I'm pretty actually, I know exactly what goes on on the road. Yeah, so I did that so for nine months. Oh, there you go. So yeah, you don't, you don't need to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, doing merch. I was a production assistant. Like all oh, that kind of jazz. Yeah, long okay. ass time ago. Yeah, I learned my lesson. Yeah, mm -hmm. The hard way. Hard work and It's rough. It's rough. Yeah. Yeah, but it was cool. It was a lot of fun. I got to meet tons of amazing people like, that are still my friends today. Yeah. I'm going to see some of them now, which I would not get to see. Yeah, this like, is the one place yeah. where I see people that I'll never get to see. Yeah, yeah. that's why I love now. Yeah. But it's awesome to see you. Hi, you too. Sure, I'll see you around at the yeah. Schecter party and all that stuff. Sure, I'll see you. So this is the Schecter booth right here. So that bass you guys see me playing in the videos, you're always asking what bass is that, what bass is that? It's that bass right there. That's the five string version, I play the four, but it's that bass, it's a Schecter, believe it or not. It's like a Schecter jazz bass, it's really good bass, good instrument. So you think that this is a fretted bass, it looks like it's fretted right here, fretless right there. It's not. Fretless bass right here, Schecter. Sick. Here's Fender coming up right here. Let's check it out. Good stuff. I'm sure they will. Thank you. 
<laughs> Sometimes you just still take photos of your badge because this barcode actually gives your contact info. I don't think they're allowed to do that, but they do it anyway. So this is uh, Gibson right here. That little stage
thought I was done with Ibanez and I walked on another hallway. Man, Ibanez is massive. Alright, for the drummers that might be watching this channel, here's all the drum stuff right here. Look at that safety. Look at that wall. That's that big ass. Drum stuff. I'm just gonna show some more drum stuff. I can't stand in between these boots for too long, man, because there's so many random sounds. It's like a guy playing lead here, and then someone is smashing cymbals over there. You go crazy, man. And, and especially like the guitar and bass hallways, you hear like someone ripping a solo on guitar, and then across from him is someone slapping some insanity on bass. It's just like, it just fucks with your mind. Man. I really hope the, the camera mic on this thing is picking up the stuff that I'm hearing. I really hope you guys can hear this stuff. I just brought my GoPro because I just wanted to keep it simple. I wanted something like portable, compact, that I could just throw into my back pocket and not have to worry about. It's supposed to like a big vlog setup with like a DSLR and the mics. I have all that, but it's just, it's kind of a hassle. So I just wanted to keep it simple. So hopefully the audio on this thing is good enough. So this is what the end of the day at NAMM looks like. Everyone exhausted, they're doing this. So there you have it, NAMM 2017. I hope that gave you kind of an insight into what it's like. It's kind of hard to make this kind of video interesting because it's really a lot of the same. It all kind of looks the same when you're in there. It's just a bunch of boots with instruments and people playing and 
you know the, the cool thing is that you run into a lot of people that you really don't get to see often or you don't see except for events like this you know like i saw tony franklin and all those other people i saw some of them on camera and there's a lot of people i saw that were off camera i didn't have my camera on so you wouldn't see them and there are of course all the parties that go on after at all the hotels around the convention center there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens all night but i'm not going to go to those today because i'm leaving kind of early but i am coming back on saturday and then I'm going to spend the whole day and I'm going to go to the parties and do the whole deal. But like I said earlier, I want to have this video edited and posted before then. So I'm probably not going to have that footage to put on this vlog. But the stage they're setting up. See, they're probably going to be playing after the convention center closes. And they have music going all around the convention center and all the hotels and everything. But that's not going to make it to this vlog. Because like I said, I'm not going to stay here till late until saturday and i'm gonna edit and post this vlog before that but still there's a lot of cool stuff to see so i hope you guys enjoyed that and make sure you subscribe and i'll see you on the next one